The Lord be with you. Blessed Sunday, everyone. Today, we are now on the third Sunday of Lent. And our gospel will be coming from St. John chapter 2, verses 13 to 25. Jesus cleansed the temple. He was a little bit upset because he said, You made the house of my father a marketplace. Remember, they were selling cattle, sheep, pigeons, and there were money changers table. Well, that explains about the purification laws. They have so many laws about purity. And they wanted that the only animal that be offered in a burnt offering will be perfect. And no foreign object should be able to enter the temple of God lest that will make impure. Remember, during the time people were traveling from different places, many Jewish people were living in the diaspora. And they were remembering once a year the Passover feast. Well, that is a reminder for all of them of God's miracle of freeing them from slavery. And how ironic that while they were remembering the freedom, the temple leaders during that time were in a way enslaving people in a very subtle way by the corruption, by the externalities without giving them the real service and without actually making them closer to God. And so Jesus Christ was upset. And He was telling them, Gone are the days of temple offering. When He will be sacrificed on the cross, that will be the final and the lasting sacrifice to the Father for the forgiveness of our sins. And so it is a good reminder for all of us. The celebration of the Mass every day is the making present of the sacrifice of the Lord for all of us. We can never duplicate. We can never be at par with the sacrifice of the Lord. Jesus did it once and for all. And so we need not to duplicate the sacrifice of God. What is being asked from us is to cleanse our hearts. When Jesus cleansed the temple, that is an invitation for all of us. Cleanse your heart. Come to me with a pure heart. Offer your pure body and soul to me. And you will see the great blessings that will come upon your way. And that is none other than the salvation of your soul. Now that we are closer to the celebration of our Holy Week. Two more weeks and we shall be entering Holy Week. Remind yourself, before you participate in the passion, make it sure that we have offered the purest heart. And if we are still living in dirt because of sin, purify it. Jesus will be upset on us if we will not be making a move to cleanse, not just the externalities of our church, but the internal disposition of our heart. For we are the church. We belong to Christ. We compose the church today. And it will always be sad. And it will always be prostrating on the part of our Lord if we haven't done anything to purify our hearts. God bless.